Have you ever wanted to try one of these Savino's JR uh, Next Gen NASCAR model kits? I wanted to try one, so I did. So today we're looking at the 2022, should I say that twice, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Kyle Larson Valvoline car. This is what it looks like. Oh, well, that's what the picture of the car looks like. This is what the picture of my model looks like. All right, so let me talk real quick about it. Let me well, spin it around first, and then let's talk about it. It's a great paint scheme. I got to tell you, the paint scheme is really, really good. All right, so this is what uh, the car is about. As you can see, it's leaning over big time. As you can see, the bottom piece is coming off. Or the, the bottom tray is coming off the body. All right. So this is painted in Rust-Oleum. I think it was like apple red. Great color. Decals are great. Man, they use um, the power slide decals. Beautiful. They went around the curves of the body real nice. The hood was a little bit of a problem with the decal. Because it's got a lot of stuff going on there. But man, I got to say that looked good. All right. So, besides the decals, let's talk about the car a little bit. So, the new NASCARs, I'm not a huge fan of the new NASCARs because they're kind of more like GT cars rather than um, regular stock cars. They have the pan underneath it that looks like the GT cars. So, everything on this model kit is built up from that bottom pan. The engine, the roll cage, your suspension parts. Everything on this kit is a super tight fit, so be careful with that. Uh, if you don't put things in the right spots, things will not fit. Other parts will not fit. I ran into the problem of um, when I had the entire roll cage, uh, chass uh, yeah, roll cage chassis suspension done, it all fell apart on me. So I then had to re-piece pieces back together, which wasn't easy because there was a lot of super glue on there, so I had to shim a lot of pieces. In doing so, there's a lot of pieces missing on this car now. But you don't see a lot of the parts. This is another reason why I don't like doing these GT kits. Um, I'm going to interchange GT and next-gen um, NASCAR as kind of the same kits. Just because they are kind of the same kits. But you do the engine suspension, there's a thousand pieces in here all in the back and all that. And you never see any of it. I thought that I would have the body come off on the car. Nah, it doesn't work out that way. This side here. Now when you do the suspension pieces, you got to be careful. You got to make sure everything is lined up nice. But, um, yeah, obviously my passenger side here was a lot lower. Let's take this off the turntable real quick. It was a lot lower. Uh, uh, well, it would have been a higher stance to give it a lower stance than the other side. I thought that we could keep the uh, car um, with a body removable so you can't see pieces. That doesn't work because when you put the uh, all the pieces onto the pan, the bottom here, or the front here, bends downward. So when you held it up, in fact, you can kind of see it here. See how the bottom of the car here is, and then over here it's a lot lower. It like warped the tray. Very weird. So then there were some uh, tabs here. It's got dust on it already. I just built this kit a week ago. Um, some tabs to hold the body in with uh, holding them together with some clamps, some super glue. You can see it's still coming apart over here. I glued the hood onto the kit because a lot of the engine, um, I don't know what you call it, the, the, the pieces that go over the engine didn't quite fit properly. So they all came off. Glued the hood in. Get that out of here. So, I had a lot of difficult time with this kit, trying to get it together. This was the first next-gen uh, model kit I built. Oh, then I had problems with the windows. The windows don't want to stay in. You can see how that's kind of sticking out far. This is all going to fall out. You see that? I had problems with that. Um, this is my first next-gen uh, NASCAR model kit. I had a hard time with it. I would like to build another one, knowing what mistakes I have made on this one. And uh, hopefully, maybe I'll get a better result than this one. So, overall, I'm not too happy with it. But I am happy with the work that I did with it. Just because, you know, you got to do it to learn. So, that's kind of my review here. 
it's not a great review, but I had problems with this kit. I know a lot of people online have built these kits and have built them real nice. I did not. But like I said, that's not going to deter me from building another one. So that is my quick overview of the uh, Kyle Larson Salvino JR 2022 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Next Gen NASCAR kit. If you haven't done one of these, just be careful. All right, everybody. Well, I thank you for watching. And um, seems like I've had a couple model kits in a row here that haven't been too great. But, um, hey, stay with me. I still got some good stuff going. All right, everybody. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, take care.